I'm Moisés Zamora. I'm a staff writer on, the, on American Crime Season 3. I decided to become a writer because I think it's the ultimate expression of an individual and I think that it's a very powerful way to uh, change the world. I don't see myself doing anything else. I had to get rid of all the myths in my, in my head. I wanted to get rid of the stuff that you read about. Like, oh my God, he broke through. He's a genius. He wrote one script in jail and then now he's, you know, has got a hundred million dollar contract. So I wanted to get rid of that because that, that's the kind of fantasy that I think a lot of us get caught up because Hollywood is about that, creating sometimes fa fantasies. And we forget that all these people have worked really, really hard to get where they are. I think I realized that uh, the first thing that I needed to have was to have the killer script, right? Like have a really good script that everyone's responding, everyone's responding very positive to it. So once I got rid of that, then I said, okay, I need to learn the craft. I need to learn the format inside out. So I went back to UCLA um, extension because I, I heard they had like great TV writing, um, screenwriting courses for an affordable price. After UCLA, where I met um, Lee Jessup, a career coach, she introduced me to script anatomy. Those courses are like workshops that are more useful when it comes to TV writing. When I was ready after script anatomy UCLA with that really good script, uh, and I felt very confident about it, I was working with Lee Jessup, and she sent my script to um, manager to a manager without me knowing I think it was like on a Thursday or something for him to read on over the weekend and I'm like I didn't even know uh, that that went down um, until she called me on a Sunday the same week saying this particular manager really loved the script and would love to meet me Monday I was trying to board a train about going back home and I boarded the wrong train so, because it was exciting, you know. Yeah, told me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I met him, his name is Jewel Ross at Silent R Management. We had about, it was like a two and a half hour conversation. Then we went, you know, it's my goals, my life. And he really wanted to get to know me. And just, I think also yeah, going back to the whole networking and the collaborating and just, Making sure that I was going to be good in a room, that I was going to be able to express my ideas clearly, that I knew what I wanted. Having a manager um, really uh, was essential in, 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 in getting to know how general meetings work and just basically building your own network, you know, you, and, and your own, you start building your own relationships. Uh, a couple of, um, you know, especially CBS and Sony, the executives were there, you know, we love your script, but... Um, you've never been in a writer's room. You know, you should really look into staffing this season. I didn't really think it was possible. Um, I just didn't think it was going to be possible. I'm just, I'm just going to do what I've been doing, networking, taking classes, applying to fellowships, um, just getting out, creating more material. I was preparing for the fellowships, so I wanted to take a class. And I had met this writer who had uh, been selected for the ABC Disney writing program a couple of years ago. So I'm like, well, maybe I should just take his class, get to know him, learn from him. Two weeks into his class, not only he read my material, he found out about my background, he knew that I was a published novelist, that I had won an award for my documentary film. He took it upon himself to be like, hey, I know a couple of evaluators at ABC. I'll just send them your stuff and see what happens. Tuesday, I get a phone call from an, um, the creative executive of American Crime, Tommy Benjamin. And he said he loved my stuff, he loved my background, he loved my story, and he won wants me to come in for an interview with Michael McDonald, the executive producer of American Crime. I had not seen um, most of American Crime. So I binged um, about 14 episodes. I also called my father because I knew they were going to do um, migrant worker labor exploitation and he's a physician assistant that treats 
lot of migrant workers in the Central Valley. So I knew I could get some stories from there. I had even practiced how I was going to deliver like sorry story bits. Uh, I did it with Tommy while I was waiting for, uh, for Michael and then it came in, in conversation very naturally. I, which I was very surprised because the interview went really personal. Um, it was wonderful because it was just this huge rush. I still couldn't believe it was happening. I, I hadn't gotten a job yet. And he sent another email to my manager and he said, would he be willing to come in to take the job if, he, if there was no guarantee of him writing a script or like an episode? And of course my manager didn't even consult me. He was like, yes. <laughs> and, and which was true. I mean, I didn't even expect to write an episode. And so when, um, and then that same day, uh, later, they told me that I had gotten the job. The first time being in a room for me, I mean, it was very magical. I, you know, I was gonna be working with John Reilly, who won the Oscar for 12 Years of Slave. And there was a level of confidence where I knew that like, there was a reason why I was there. But of course I was nervous as hell as well. Uh, mostly because I, I, I wanted to contribute to the room. You know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be useful. You know, I asked other writers and immediately I knew that the room was full of very supportive, generous, wonderful people. I mean, everyone was, you know, had a strong opinion about things, but it was very res respectful and, and they all kind of reached out to us, the newbies in the room. It was, it was a, an incredible supportive environment. John really ran the room very efficiently. He's a visionary, he knows what he wants. But at the end of the seven weeks, he was uh, wonderful and had the two staff writers co-write um, an episode. So I was, we were very thrilled that we actually gonna have a TV credit and uh, get to have our own episode. I started writing when I was 17 years old. I was writing plays and then I wrote a novel and then I published a novel and then I kept on writing. So my writing began when I was a teenager. However, uh, when I decided to go into screenwriting and I decided to go in and take that you know, UCLA course, to the moment I got myself a manager, I, I was probably two years, um, to my surprise. Uh, and then half a year later, I had gotten that American crime job. Uh, but, you know, it took me 15 years to be that ready. Yeah. You know, it took me 15 years to be that prepared and that professional and that focused. Um, you know, once you're ready, once you're prepared, once you're focused, it, it might be overnight. Yeah. You know, that's why everyone says like, oh, such an overnight success. It took him 10, 20 years, you know, <laughs> but it's so true. It's so true. It takes a long time to be ready.